start with an impression on how big the, 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 the internet is in Japan. First, we'll take a look at this from the number of internet users. So how big is the internet in Japan? The population in Japan is about 126 million, which is probably about 1.5 times that of Germany, and about double of that of France or the UK. And of this population now, 85 million are internet users, mm -hmm. and the penetration rate is approximately 67%. And now, for the purpose of comparison, let's see how the situation is in the United States. So how does it compare with the United States? The US now has a population of approximately 300 million, and the number of internet users is 210 million, which makes the US the number one in terms of the number of internet users. And the penetration rate is about 70%, which is more or less the same as in, the United, as, in, as in Japan. Now, how does this compare with China? China is talked about nowadays a lot everywhere around the world as, the, as, a, grow, as a rapidly growing economy. The number of internet users in China is about 137 million, which makes China the second largest in the world in terms of the number of internet users. But when you compare this with the number of population that they have, the penetration rate is just about 10%. So we know that if we look at this from the positive way, it means that there's room for growth in China. But you know, when, we, when we our advertising agency so our clients tell us that they want to target China instead of Japan, all we have to tell them is that China's not really ready for this yet, at least yet. So far for the size, uh, let's see how much money there is in the market now. This is an annual figure that comes from Dentsu. See how the online ad spend has been hiking since 2003. The growth of this online ad spend in Japan can be contributed to the, in, uh, to the increasing number of internet users. And of course, an increase in the usage of broadband connections, and about 65% of Japanese household now has been broadband connections. And this increase in the number of, in the usage of broadband is also giving room for media companies to introduce larger size batteries in rich media advertising spaces that are more expensive to compare to conventional smaller batteries. And with, a, and with this greater variation of online ad spaces, more and more advertisers are turning to online advertising for their corporate advertising or branding advertising as opposed to product advertising that has been saved in the past. And in the future, this growth in online ad spend is expected to be led also by mobile advertising and search engine marketing. And see how the internet has been growing rapidly. I didn't have the time to add zero, 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 006 figures, but I'm sure this graph is uh, that compares traditional media ad spend versus online ad spend is very much similar wherever in the world. In Japan, online ad spend surpassed that of radio ad spend in 2005. And it is said that online ad spend will also surpass that of magazine ad spend very soon. Uh, although it doesn't show on this graph, in, in 2006, all four traditional media, TV, newspaper, magazine, and radio, they all decreased in terms of ad spend, and the newspapers were hit the hardest down by 3.8% from 2005. And magazines were down by 1.5% from 2005. What is SP? SP is sales promotion. Oh. Uh, many people <coughs> associate Japan with mobile phones and mobile internet. So let's take a look at how big the mobile internet is in Japan. According to the Japanese Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications, the number of mobile internet users as of the end of 2005 was approximately <coughs> 70 million. And this is the first time ever for the number of mobile internet users to surpass that of PC internet users, which is 66 million. And how does this situation of mobile internet compare with the, the United States? According to a company named Palefia in the United States that conducts mobile-related surveys, 
the number of mobile internet users in the U.S. as of June last year was just 35 million, just, just about half of the mobile, mobile internet users in Japan. And I also read an article on CNET that only 18% of the people in the United States who have mobile phones are actually using it for mobile internet. And it appears, so it appears that the mobile internet is not as big as in Japan as it is, uh, not as big in the United States as it is in Japan. Uh, so let's see how much money there is in the mobile advertising market. This, these figures also come from Dentsu, that, and it shows how mobile ad spend is also increasing very rapidly. In 2006, mobile ad spend accounted for approximately 11% of total online ad spend. And in Japan, mobile phones are starting to have larger displays, and over 70% of the mobile handsets in Japan are 3G terminals. And with the introduction of fixed rates for data communication, mobile advertising is starting to evolve from mere text ads to banners on mobile ads, and also video ads nowadays. And just like with PC internet, more and more affiliate programs are also becoming available for mobile internet. Now let me introduce you a couple of uh, mobile buzzwords in Japan. The first is the QR code. Many of you already know what QR code is. QR stands for quick response. And it's a noun for the two-dimensional barcode that you see on the top right. More and more QR codes are seen in print media and also outdoors. The most popular use of QR code is to embed a URL in that barcode up there and let the user scan the barcode using their mobile, mobile cameras on their mobile handsets. And once scanned, this, the embedded URL in that barcode will actually appear on the display of your, of your mobile handset. And with just one click, it takes the user to the destination mobile website. And it's, it's just as easy as that. And because we have this QR code, consumers are freed of the trouble of having to input long URLs into using their mobile handsets. And there are several objectives of using QR codes. One is to offer further detailed information. Second, you can take orders for certain products or you can ask the consumers to enter sweepstakes using this uh, QR code and then you, thereby collecting personal information from those users. So there are many ways, or many, many uh, objectives of using the QR code. An um, interesting use of the QR code was seen in one of our own magazines, Nikkei Health. An issue of Nikkei Health introduced an article about yoga, but there are limits of what print pages can express in terms of yoga poses. So the, the, the editorial team of Nikkei Health, they posted a QR code just next to the various po the photos of various poses of yoga and asked the readers to, to click onto that website using their mobile phones and see the video of how the yoga movement goes on. Excuse me, is the QR code, um, is it downloaded? Does, uh, how do you get it into the mobile? You scan it. You I, scan. I mean, you scan it. You, <coughs> you use the mobile phone set, you I take the photo, well, you scan it, yeah. scan it, <coughs> and then the, the, the URL will appear on your mobile phone set. And so uh, the idea that this, uh, the editorial team of Nikkei Health implemented was to make up for the limits of what a print, uh, print media can express. And nowadays, over 90% of Japanese mobile phones have cameras on it. And rather, it's difficult to find one that don't have any mobile, phone, mobile cameras on it. 